How to make a resume and CV in Canva full guide. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own resume in Canva. Now we all know Canva for design and logo creation and presentations, but Canva can be a great tool to create your resume, especially with the vast variety of templates it provides. So let's get started and build our own resume. For this, the first thing you're going to do is go into the search bar of your Canva account and search for resume. Once you search for resume over here, you're going to see a lot of different templates. Now, this is really important because a lot of people make mistakes when choosing templates. Now, as someone that has been in HR and that has done a lot of this resume type inspection, one of the most important things about a resume is the format or the template that you are using. So the way that it's formatted can be really, really a trigger for whether or not you're going to get the job or not. So the first thing that I have for you guys is to not include a picture unless your job requires it. For example, if you're a model, then it's really important that your resume has a picture of you. If you are doing photo shoots, if you are in a industry where pictures are necessary, if you are a public speaker, if you are in any field where your appearance actually impacts the work that you do, then you want to include your picture. Otherwise, if you're in any other field, do not include your picture. Secondarily, Templates like these are often seen as unprofessional, so don't go for these types of styles. Go for styles that are more simplistic. Styles like these ones that are more heavy on the text, as well as formatted in a way where it's easy for people's or hiring managers to actually go through the resume and gather important points is going to help in you getting more replies. So go on ahead and scroll around and you can find a resume that you like. Once you do that, you're going to click on customize this template. Once you click on customize this template, you will see your basic Canva design. Now on the top right, you're going to name your design. So this is my psych CV, and then we're going to zoom in a little. Now on the top, you're going to write your name. And then after that, you're going to add your position or your degree. So I'm going to add psychologist as our degree here. Below that, you will have a section to add your address, email, as well as your website. Now, if you don't have a website, which most people don't, you are supposed to include your LinkedIn profile because LinkedIn is one of the most easiest and most effective ways for people to view you and your professional work. So you're going to add that. Let's say we are in Toronto, Ontario, and then whatever email you have, you're just going to select that and change it over here. Now, this is one con of this particular template that I don't like is that the email and the location are pretty downsized. So I'm actually going to increase the font size to 12 so it fits in a bit better because I want my email to be one of the highlighted, you know, highlighted parts or easy to access parts. After that, you just enter your LinkedIn profiles, so whatever you're at on LinkedIn is, you're just going to add that here. Once you've done that, you can move towards the next section. Now, the next section is usually your objective statement. Now, I have a draft of a resume on ChatGPT as well. And this is your objective. So this is usually going to be a basic statement about what type of work you do or what are your contributions. This can really vary across industries. This is going to be really specific to you and your industry. However, try to emphasize your basic key points or try to emphasize whatever you're good at within the objective and try to prove it in a way where you're emphasizing it with results. So a dedicated psychology grad with a foundation in research, communication, interpersonal skills, passionate about promoting mental health and well-being, seeking an entry-level role. Now, this line is a bit unnecessary, so I'm going to cut this out like this. 
below that we have the area of expertise now if you have a lot of experience in your field you definitely will have an area of expertise you can add that in your area of expertise you can also write any of your skills you don't have to create a additional section for skills you can just rename this to skills if you want so I'm just going to rename this as skills and then I can add whatever skills I have. So user research, you know, whatever they might be. You can add that over here. If you delete all the text blocks, all you have to do is click on text, add a bit of body text, resize it to font 10 or 11 like this. And I'm going to resize this to 11 and then I can add my skills. So let's say our skills are, and I'm going to copy these from over here. And then I'm going to paste these on, go with the smaller font, and I'm not going to make them bold. And I'm just going to paste them over here. And then I'm going to make this a bit shorter because this is a bit too long where I'm talking about research and data analysis. So I'm going to add strong communication and interpersonal skills. So I'll just add interpersonal skills, knowledge of counseling, theories, or techniques. Now, instead of knowledge, counseling techniques. Uh, and then I would add ABA, CBT, whatever techniques I know. And then after that, time management and organization, as well as critical thinking and problem solving. Now that I've done that, I'm going to change the lines of this. So I want these to be in the same line over here. And then I'm just going to space these out like so. You definitely should actually, you know, change these into different text blocks, but I'm just going to place this as placeholder text for now. Below that, we have key achievements. Now, key achievements, you don't need to write extensively in this. Whatever you've achieved, if you haven't achieved anything, for example. So if you have not achieved a lot, you guys can see you can add any type of certifications or basic achievement. Or if you've done something like presented at a conference or presented at a event, you can add that. If you don't have a lot of uh, experience, they don't expect you to have, you know, mind boggling achievements. They know that you are a fresh grad. So for that, just enter any of your basic achievements. If you've volunteered anywhere or if you increase revenue anywhere, just try to include that. And then you add your professional experience. Now, another really important thing in your professional experience is that your most recent experience needs to be put on top. So if you have experience for, let's say, 20 years, you maybe you don't need to include all 20 years. Maybe you only need to include your experience for the past 10 years and move, you know, move past the past 10 years, uh, the 10 years before that, because it's unnecessary information that the hiring manager probably does not want to know. After that, you have your education. Your education, again, needs to be put in the same way. So the most recent degree or qualification, diploma, certification that you did needs to be put on top. And then below that, you're going to include the rest of your education. If you've done college, don't include high school in your education because it's going to be very obvious that if you've gone to college, you must have gone to high school. Then you have any additional information you want to include. This can be any award, any type of language proficiency you might have. You can include any of that information here. And just like that, your resume using ChatGPT and Canva is ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.